Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, Ascended Stars. Ali Jade here with you on this Monday. It's a magical Monday, a moody Monday, a manic Monday. Just another manic Monday. Well, it's not Sunday. I wish it was. <laughs> but listen, um, I'm going to try to do the series. You know, Manic Monday, Moody Monday, Magical Monday. Uh, hey, why don't we just get to the nitty gritty and see what's going on on our Monday. And uh, the good, just give me the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I'm here to do that reading for you, for the collective, and for all my subs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my last reading for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. It's fascinating how we're mirroring each other. And uh, let's see what's going on. What's going on in my beautiful Ascended Star family? All right, let's see. Okay, we got some reversals. All right, that is the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, indecision. Uh, these are upside down, right? Or no? Are they just not in order? Yeah, they're all, I guess they're all, yeah, because I just took them out of the deck. Because I had them, okay, wow, okay, this is, um, let me focus, this is getting real, oh my god, this is getting really interesting. We have the full moon energies of Virgo as well, so this is, I, I you know, this is my, I don't think I have, I, I'm going to have to do a full moon reading, but I have to do it later because my life is just so chaotic with doing so much stuff lately so um but now we're going direct as of the 10th so this is done on the 9th and this is going to be my monday series so this is also going to cover the full moon in virgo all right enough said what we have going on all right is we have um the sacral chakra and the second chakra the second chakra, which is um, Archangel Ariel, uh, the sacral chakra is the second chakra. Sorry for the the light. You know, I'm trying to get good lighting, but it doesn't work out here with uh, limited resources. But anyway, we got uh, the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So the sacral. This is the survival. The sacral is the survival, the um, instinct, animalistic instinct. Yes, Aries survival energy is what I pick up. Um, and what I pick up too is like Aries is the head, okay? So I always say where the mind goes, the body will follow. So if you have been, it, it really depends. It's all a contingent on what you have been telling yourself, on how you have been guiding yourself in this energy. Uh, I, I I do feel a harsh, aggressive energy came on December 6th, and that was for us to facilitate and ground that energy and um, ground it because we have so much earth energy here right now supporting us. So what's happened is um, we're dealing with indecision still. You know, this has been massive energy for the collective uh especially with this divine feminine, divine masculine perspective where we see that someone's not making the right choices, the right decisions, and then we're still contending this week, you know, Moody Monday, um, not so magical now because there's indecision involved. <laughs> okay, Angel of Strength. So the number five is about shifts. Oh, girl. Oh, boy. Do I know about the number five? It's a catalyst. Things cannot remain the same. Okay. Four is structure. Trying to gain, um, gain leverage or gain just even keel. But five, it's it's tilted. It's something's got to give. You know, some it's heavy somewhere. It is not stabilized, and there's got to be change. So this is part of this energy of where we're 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 in virgo full moon okay virgo is the the polarity of pisces and virgo P 
Pisces is the other realm. It's spirituality. It's psychic ability. It's the 12th house, endings and beginnings. You are going to be so uncomfortable. Not The universe is going to come at you with a force and not make it comfortable. You are going to have to make that choice. Okay, welcome to Virgo full moon energy. This is happening for the next two weeks. This is contingent. This energy, don't, don't try to like avoid stuff because you can't. This has to do with a man and his heart. Specifically, we're talking to the men genders and them getting straight with their heart, okay? That's Virgo energy. You gotta be straight with your soul, your heart. It's the same connection here, okay? Um, so this is, this is you being clear, okay? Uh, the virgin ain't no prostitute, okay? The, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So, for those who are doing the work, we have the patience card, the shadow work that is. That means like whenever you feel disruption and lower vibration energies and entities trying to come and make and, and not make and things aren't happening, you know, in the way you like our ego, our ego, our ego is not our amigo. And we need to understand that whenever we don't get our way, we become like children. And that's the shadow energy. That's the what we, you know, whatever our way needs to be at that time. So anyways, we're going to be have to be patient and and let go. We're going to have to let go of the results of, of what of how we want it to go. You know, the let go of, of, of the end. Let go of how you thought it would should be is what I'm hearing. The high priestess knows. OK, the high priestess has and she has known. She has known. She knows and she has known. Okay. <laughs> yes. This is waves of energy. So some, I, I, I think the, for who's watching me already has known, but we have our newcomers. Welcome and hit that subscribe button. I wanted you to join this journey with me. Um, I'm on a self-care campaign, everybody. I'm caring for myself. I'm going to be selfish, okay? This Virgo is going to be selfish. And all my water signs, are. I want them all to come with me. But anyway, um, and all you fire and air, hey, you guys are cool. I love you too. You need to know what's up. The high priestess. The high priestess knows. So, <laughs> Ooh. I'm getting different messages. So we have the man holding the heart. He he knows who he wants. The high priest, you know, he, this is the energy afterwards, right? So he knows who he wants. He knows the high priestess is the ideal woman. He wants somebody. He knows he wants this woman. He's still treading over this indecision, okay? He's still treading over this. He's got his back to the passion, to the things that could be really amazing in his life, to really living his full capacity, to really being embraced by his true ego, you know? He doesn't have the strength. He just, he just, he's, he, why does he not have the strength, you ask? Well, because he's falling to all the things that are around him. If you look, if you look at to the things that are around you in this world, I don't know about you, but it's pretty despairing and uh, devastating. And it, it's a massive aha, like, wow, what the hell, right? So if you go around that, then you're going to go with the survival mode, the survival it's survival instinct. I'm just going to go for mine. Oh, welcome to Los Angeles, by the way. That's how LA is. I'm out for me, by the way. Um, yeah, no, but it, this is the world in general. Like Everyone's out for them. And, and, and so they're going to this vibration. You see how low it is? It's a lower vibration. It's low. How low can you go? Sacral area. And that's where our kidneys are, which um, kidneys hold the energy of fear. And we have a, a flight or uh, fight instincts right with when it comes to fear so many are at this like deer with headlights not making the decisions okay not making the decisions that they need to make um ego is involved because we have a lion so much of it has to do with their pride and so now we have the goblin all right this is a lot of lower vibrational energy that the the masculine has to understand that they're contending with this season this is the, this is a moody monday read but because it's on a virgo full moon until the aries new moon this this is going to go on this kind of theme is happening so the masculine is is really having to 
okay let me tell you what's happening the masculine is really having to deal with where they put their business at okay because where your mind goes your body will follow why are they going to this type of energy um this type of vibrational feminine for them opposite uh, sexual energy why because that's how they think they're thinking that way that's that's how they've been conditioned okay mainly from the outside realm they, they like to have a certain status. It's always based on a certain status too. So, so they're not making this decision because maybe they have a certain status where they're at and they feel comfortable and you know people don't move or change in their comfort zones. Yet he does know who he wants, okay? He, the, the masculine does know their ideal. They see it. This person's in the vision. It's here. It, it's around them. It's in their realm, but maybe not physically, but just they know who it is, okay? Now, they're saying, telling themselves, I'm going to be patient and I'm going to let go of whoever karmic they're with, right? Whoever karmic they might be with or whatever situation might be going on. And they're dealing with their inner child. Because, or, or you know, this karmic is helping them deal with their true inner child. So, partnership. Dealing with, with the energy of partnership. Dealing with security. We have letting go and wealth. Yeah. So they, they have... A, yeah, and then this is under the sacral energy here. Sexual sacral energy. So they're letting go of, um, of their need to have maybe this, this uh, unhealthy way of looking at relationships is what we can say. They're in this place for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, just for uh, the Divine Feminine to know. They're in an indecision. They're teeter-tottering. They're trying to make the decision. So we are guided. We are guided to have patience here. If you are somebody who is um, involved in, a, in a, uh, a third party situation, you know. And so this is the partnership part, uh, situation here that you're, you know, just trust. Be gentle on yourself. Um, I do see my Divine Feminine is really not engaging with, with um, the energy, sexual energy of the Divine Masculine. I, I, I kind of feel, because the High Priestess does not do that. The High Priestess knows her value and she is um, very aware. She knows. She's not she's not in a place of doubt. You know, she's patiently waiting. There's a lot, a lot of Divine Feminines right now patiently waiting. It, and they know it can be a magical Monday in the future. They just don't have... Um, the the visibility right now it's not manifested right now but it's coming it's coming because the masculine knows they can have more wealth with somebody else i don't know if that rhymed but it kind of felt like it rhymed okay uh this is such a great reading i'm so stoked i really love this reading this is amazing energy coming to us okay um where am i going to take this the good, the bad, the ugly. That's right. So let's see. Let's see the messages for the good, the bad, the ugly. All right. Let's see the messages for the good, the bad, the ugly. What am I going to use? We're just going to go straight to... We have different decks here. All right. We have the good happening what's happening with the good energy for this week we want to know about the good and we'll use an, an angel cards for the good to give us the good or should we do the ugly first <laughs> we're gonna go in the other order we're gonna go in the ugly order let's do the ugly let's see the bad stuff okay i really i really contend with seeing the bad stuff first i really all right uh, what's the ugly? We want to see the ugly. The ugly. All right. We're going to use this other deck for the ugly. We're going to use different decks for each message. Okay. The ugly. And I'm going to use the astrology cards for the ugly. Just to see what, um, what the influences are with the ugly. So let's see. The ugly. Please give us the ugly. I'm going to use the past history. I mean the past life cards. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do um, an astrology card and a past life card. I knew I had these, this deck out here for some reason. The ugly. What's the ugly for this week, March 9th? 
on Moody Monday, Moody Magical or Manic Monday. We'll see what it is. The ugly. The <laughs> I like saying that. I'm sorry. <laughs> this Pisces retrograde has been teasing me like crazy. Okay. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly. The ugly. There's two there. I felt you. All right. What do we have? This week we have Atlantis upside down. Many of us are feeling the veil is thin, people. The veil is thin. This vice, uh, Virgo Pisces polarity. I was going to say vices. This Virgo Pisces polarity is making us be able to look into this other realm and to really tap into our gifts. We are giving, we're being given back gifts that were taken in the 3D and we're tapping into them. Okay. I don't care if you believe me or not, honey. That's what's happening. And you're going to be, look at this, Chiron. Oh, Chiron, I love you, I love you, I love you. All right. And Chiron's got to come out. Absolutely. It's all about the Virgo with Chiron. OMG. The Hermit heals. The Hermit does the investigative work. That's the Virgo card in the tarot. The Hermit heals. Okay. The Hermit um, goes and separates itself and learns about its own psyche, its own divine masculine feminine, and it heals. All right. And this is Chiron too. Your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or, or learn remedies. Yes, Virgo. You okay? This energy for those of you who have been on the on the path of healing, Chiron. Okay, your mind, your soul, your spirit, Aries, and you've been doing the work. This is go coming together, okay? This stuff is manifesting, all right? Many of you don't understand that why it's taking so long, why it's taking so long. We are chipping away at, f at, at falseness and at um, illusions, okay? And people still want to hold on to their illusions, okay? This is Pisces still, people still holding on for dear life for their illusions, but you can see it's crumbling. It's crumbling and Chiron is here. Oh, this is so beautiful. I cannot even express how gorgeous this is. I'll put you there with the green healing energy of, of, of uh, my green light. Okay, the ugly. Okay, this is, damn deck is upside down. You know about me and reverse. I mean, I love reverses, but I don't have it set up for, the ugly, <laughs> the ugly. All right, the ugly. Look at this. Shoot, man, this is not good. Okay, many, many. Okay, this is the ugly. All right, people. All right, people. I didn't make this up. This is this is stuff. This is so interesting. It's it's just. We have two major arcanas, okay? This is inevitable, all right, for some of us, for some, all right? The ugly, the ug here's the ugly, okay? The ugly is they're going to give you a lesson here to say, did you, well, they already gave you the lesson. The lesson's been learned, okay? But you're going to be on the defense, trying to step into this new energy, into this new world, Um. And, and you're going to have to leave some things behind, okay? And and then you're going to have to move forcefully into this. It, it's going to be like Mercury comes online and psh, psh, you're on that train. Like you stepped into that subway, you're underground, you know, what, how many feet? And you're on that bus, you're on that subway. And it just has certain stops. You are the chariot, okay? The chariot is here. This stuff, Mercury's going to go direct. I don't, I feel this is more like in the next two weeks, right? Because the new moon for um, April. I have all the info in my show box more, the timelines. Um, okay, but for like the, the, the lunations. But the thing is, the thing is like what I pick up here, my dears, is that I feel kind of um, five of swords. Okay, five of swords is... You're going to defend yourself. You're going to have to, you're going to feel like you have to defend. Maybe you have to defend. Maybe you have to, maybe you're going to be defensive. Maybe um, you're going to have to have some qualms. Maybe like you're going to have to defend something of yours. Your belief, maybe the energy of really defending what you believe in because the dark entities of the dark spirits and the legions of the darkness may come at you in any way, shape or form, meaning they may come spiritually through the, the um 
the internet, right? Or through, uh, you know, that means like your phone devices and whatever you're watching and everything on, on television, all the, you know, the news, all of that. It may come at you because sometimes this stuff comes at you and then you get like a seed or more should I say a wild hair up your ass and you're like I'm now going to be an advocate for this because this horrible thing is happening out there and then it gets you off track then it gets you off your track of what you really wanted to do okay that's this energy the five of swords yes this is this is someone drops a bomb in a conversation and you're like what the what did you just say what like and then you get a wild hair. I what? Okay, just listen to me. A wild hair up your butt. This is a wild hair up your butt. This has nothing to do with you. But you feel like you have to defend it and you're passionate about it, okay? And, and understand this, okay? Understand this card, okay, my dear? This is the ugly, okay? You will come... Uh, through. You will come to spiritual attack, okay? The the swords. You 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 see the the guy. He's turned away from the fire, okay? He's defending himself with the wolves. Gosh, why is this thing so blurry? Okay, he's defending himself with the wolves, but he's looking at at us, right? He's looking at us, and the fire is there. He should be looking at those wolves, right? He should be really, and and the passion is that fire. Okay, so you have to understand that the enemy, you're, if you're getting close to your visions, the things that you want to do, uh, my lovelies, the enemy's going to come to distract you, okay? Also, he could use an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini, because those are air signs, and they are, well, they can come and distract you, okay? They could, they, they could, literally, all right? But you're stepping into this new world. And you're, you're now manifesting into this new world. But the enemy wants you to think that you're on this journey and you're flying blind. You do have to leave some thoughts behind, okay? Six and five. We have a consecutive number. You have to, you're, you're going to feel defensive about how you're going to move forward and you're going to feel a little doubtful because the enemy is going to impose his their doubt on you. The alliance of dark entities don't want you to succeed. So they're going to impose their, somehow they're going to come and disrupt you. Just remember, whenever you're on your path, my love, so whenever you, okay, look at this. You're going, you left something behind, okay? You left something behind. The ugly, you left some nasty stuff that you don't need that has nothing to do with you behind, okay? You step it into a new world. You're still fully trying to get into this new world. You're still trying to get in there, okay? This Virgo energy of the full moon is going to allow us to step, go in there easily. Go. We're being driven, taken, healing. We're going there. You do not go back. Once you step into this place, this is the next two weeks, it's going to freaking take off like psh, wildfire. And you're going to be in this passionate place of moving forward. This could also involve a fire sign or someone who's coming just for sex into your life in the next two weeks as well. And you might be very attracted to this offer. That's the ugly. This dude comes fast, leaves fast. Okay. Um, so that's what we're going. That you're healing. You're healing. You're healing right now. Whoa. You are definitely healing. Okay. So you're still, the ugly part is that, you know what, you're not fully healed, so you got to heal some more, you're gaining back your gifts, you're gaining back, I feel like you're standing, you're learning to stand stronger, okay? So that's the ugly, if you, if love comes, let it wait, that's what it is, alright? So let's look at um, the good, the bad, that was the ugly, and now we want to look at um, <laughs> the bad. Bad Mama Gemma. Bad Mama Gemma. All right. I don't know. I heard the bad. All right. We're going to do the bad. So that was the ugly. So the ugly thing is that <laughs> the dark energy is going to come and attack us. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, we're trying to be creative. And it's all those things that you're in your flow and then distractions. That's the enemy right there, okay? Just remember that. And I know if it's a little baby crying in the back, it's not that, you know, like, it's just like, I mean, like, yeah, you, you have to have more humbleness. You have to have open, more open hearted. These things are all kind of training you to get into that muscle of, of uh, 
success and abundance. It's a muscle that you're building. So, all right. So let's see what the ugly is. You got, I mean, the good. I mean, and that's not the good. Ah! All right. All right. The bad. Money's going to be slow. <laughs> it looks like money's going to be slow. Wow. Okay. Um, you got to follow the book. Okay, this is traditional, going by the traditional way. Uh, this is hospitals, uh, libraries, big institutions, um, and the institution of marriage as well. All right. I want you guys to see, but I want to get the messages. So let me just... So then we have the star energy. It's about healing, okay? So this is about healing relationships right now as well. So some... some, some uh, some, so the bad news is that you got to heal some relationships in order to move forward. And it's going to be slow progress, okay? So if, if that's, if, I feel like some people in marriage, they want to they want to stay committed and they want to, um, they want to stay committed. And, and, and so healing's coming and uh, it just has to step up to another level. Some relationships are stepping up to another level, okay? So it could be a little of this uncomfortable energy here that it needs to move the progression all right and that's that's ugly because people don't want to do the work yeah somebody doesn't want to do the work somebody's really stuck in their ways and they're like oh like more work into this relationship and they're like well you know it's just it's fine i don't need to do nothing but they're not thinking out of the box they're not thinking innovatively they're thinking like old um they're set in their ways okay somebody's really set in their ways and it makes the other partner feel left out and like, you know, what am I going to do? They really, you know, they acknowledge, they acknowledge that this, that this is needs to be done. Like, um, okay. So what's the advice on this spirit? Do you want to give us advice spirit? What's the advice on this? The bad, the bad news is you have a, sp okay. I feel like the, the, the bad is that some of you are freaking out or not freaking out but i mean i just feel like some of you are not freaking out but you're really like uh, impatient about a relationship okay that's not moving fast enough for you and um there ha and, and the bad news is like there's the bad news is you can heal this relationship like you might think that it's over or you you know something's um giving up i get i almost get a giving up energy like you want to give up some of you yeah but you love this person so what it's saying is like hey hang in there um keep healing keep reading some some uh material trying to heal yourself thinking outside the box get out of the get out of thinking of the way that you used to think like this is the way mom and dad did it or this is like you have to find an innovative way something new something fresh you're 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 not giving yourself the opportunity to see new things okay you're, or you're closing that stuff off all right so that's the bad like somebody here is very stubborn somebody here is very stubborn and they are not moving they don't they don't want to make an effort in the relationship it makes the other person person feel that they're left out and and um the they're left out and they're rec they recognize they recognize that that this person's stubborn i think they're probably seeing how damn stubborn this person is maybe that's what it is yeah so the sun shoot i didn't mean to but it came in reversed so it's gonna take a while i think you have to turn this sun up uh right side up yeah yeah, I think this is the reason why. Right now, you know, you have to look at it in in, in regards to stay positive. So so recognize if you stay positive, this per this, this there is hope. The bad the bad news is that you got to be patient. There is hope because you're ending up with the ten of cups. So this is really I like this section because the bad is really not so bad. It's really like it's just being honest. The bad is really the realistic situation. All right, so um, I'm guided to give you a quote from What is Love? A Simple Buddhist Guide to Romantic Happiness. Because this seems to be like the love portion, right? All right, so let's see, Spirit. Guide me to, to pick a quote for whoever's dealing with some stuff. Pick a quote. with. I don't need a whole, a whole paragraph. I just need a quote. Okay, where's the... Uh, love and Reality. Okay, I'll pick one from here. Oh, this looks good. Okay, so what it says is kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. 
kindness in giving creates love and that's by Lao Tzu which is um, the Chinese philosopher and he's very famous and then it says people change and then forget to tell each other Lillian Hellman awesome that is really great people change and forget to tell each other yes yeah, so true you know okay so now we're gonna see the good I want to see the good all right I'm gonna pick this deck for the good and we're going to pick some angel cards. So this is the week of um, really doing the work in relationships too. And being patient. And um, knowing that thing, you know that you're going to have a good ending. You had that sun in reverse. But you also have got the ten of cups. So that means you have to remain positive during these uncomfortable, challenging um, journeys these paths that we're currently in i mean there's there there's cycles but they're going through fast and they're teaching us a lot so let's see what we have for the good please and i want to pick angel cards for the good on the week of march 9th full moon in virgo my beautiful lovelies and um, let's see what we have. All right. We have music. So, yes, I have been listening a lot to some old music that I have on CDs. It's been amazing. I can't believe I said, I did this. <laughs> I put these things. When we used to burn CDs, I was a big burner. I'm a big tape person and CD person. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about it. Okay, signs. Spirit guides are guiding us. They're giving us signs. Pay attention to the signs. We might get signs inside the music. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Oh, yes. Getting a job you enjoy and that you like or feeling good at work, feeling good doing your work, feeling doing the, the work that you love. Typically, this is the message for this one. Doing the work that you love to do. Oh, nice. Nice. I mean, nice. I love it. <laughs> the tower, the good. So some of us are going to get some views, man, on the park front. I hope. Ooh, judgment. Maybe someone's coming in with some news or an old employer or job acquaintance coming in to give you some information. What the hell? You got all. <gasps> Ooh, we got all major arcanas. Eight the eight strength strength card okay so you're gonna get some news some shocking information here is coming it's gonna be quick and abrupt you're gonna have to gain your courage you're gonna have to be strong about it six of wands it's recognition maybe this is um, a spiritual message it's recognition after being recognized after a battle so this could be for a lot of you empaths who have gone through hell and back so it could be spirit saying you know we're gonna give you um some peace for right now and you're gonna be able to work in peace this is what i'm picking up <laughs> and and um If you've tried, you know, the retrograde energy, we're still in the shadow. But if, if you've tried something and it hasn't been successful, the retrograde energy, the shadow is going to last till the first. So you could still try something that, that you had um, set aside. And and maybe it's a song. Maybe it's a song for some of you um, that you set aside and you had a lot of hope with. And then now you could revamp it or you can look at it differently, you know, uh, recut it. Maybe you maybe it's gonna with the recut in in the new in the new sound in the background and all this, um, it's gonna sound better. It's gonna sound it's gonna give it that oomph that it needs and it might take off. I don't know why I'm saying that. Okay, it's gonna get recognized. You could be a Leo. It could be Aquarius, or you could be a Scorpio. Okay, um, that specific message. All right, so. The good news is keeping a high vibe will get you to the place that you want to go for your success, for the place that you want to work, um, your career. Okay. Um, 
let's let's do some definitely i definitely have to look at the sibylla and look at that i mean look at the tower with the sibylla thank you mercury retrograde um and see what what this is about for some oh somebody's breaking free maybe somebody's breaking free to come to you and start something for a long term it could be somebody that has a wife and children wow all right let's all right let's look at the um the judgment then trippy trippy all right i gotta wrap this up in two seconds so judgment is serving somebody from the past yeah that they had something with but they might have turned their back on them and now they want a reunion all right all right and they hope to have this um through a message that they want to um they, they, they think they, they've healed. That's why they're ready for a message. Oh, they've healed from a past relationship that, that was dead. All right. All right. All right. So that's it. I'm not going to do anything more. I'm going to give you some Archangel cards um, because this could take on forever. And I love you guys, but I got a life to live. And I still want to do a Monday, I mean, a um, full moon reading. I don't know why, but they're telling me to do that too. All right. So let's see what we have. For guidance with the Archangel cards. Take back your power for sure. Yes, this is happening. Okay, so many of us are taking back the power. Um, full moon. Because Virgo is about letting, you know, the full moon is about letting stuff go. And Virgo is also about detoxing and letting stuff go. So finally, the whole collective is going to be like, damn it, I'm going to let that shit go. <laughs> So they're ready to take back their power because they, you know, if you're being holding on to junk, junk, and then, you know, just you feel more empowered and more light. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. You will have a new uh, ex excitement for life, a new rejoice, a new feeling of wanting to do moon cycles. Okay, like I've been talking about, this is about the moon cycles, but we have Haniel. So there's love in the air because Haniel so lovely. Look at her. She's just absolutely divine. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. I'm here, my loves. I'm here to guide you during these cycles and tell you what's happening because I am mercurial and I, I, I live by these cycles. I mean, it's just, it's, it's irrelevant. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is good, but, um, you know, the end of the month, you know, the new moon, the new cycle, we're going into a new, new, new energy. Aries is new, new. It's the first house. So it's telling you that we're going to have new, new energy. Like, even though it's not the beginning of the year, the energy, the, you know, the cosmos, the way that the universe functions, the planetary alignment that's coming along to give you prosperity. Okay. For those of you who are doing the work, prosperity is around the corner but you got to work for it because capricorn energy don't give you nothing for free so just believe keep going up that mountain prosperity is on its way to you you must do the work though and many many have uh got that vibe and hopefully some of you are going to be getting jobs that you really are happy about and um going to be fruitful there i wish that for you so this message says archangel ariel your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality honey it's go time it's go time all right this is what this is saying right now to me stuff is happening go for it let go of the past and be prosperous thank you for much so much for watching give me a thumbs up and uh don't forget to subscribe and i'll be doing the full moon much love and light take care bye-bye